And now to a news hour share, something that caught our eye that might be of interest to you too. There's a growing movement to fix items instead of throwing them out and buying new ones. At MIT, a graduate started fix-it clinics eight years ago, and now they are held all across the country to teach people how to do repairs themselves. From PBS station WGBH in Boston, Tina Martin reports. A toaster, a tripod, and a kettle, all broken and in need of some TLC, and they're in the right place. This is Fix-It Clinic number 207. We've had a bunch of Fix-It Clinics all across the United States. MIT grad Peter Mui started the clinics in 2009 to help people learn to help themselves and the environment in the process. 52 tons of e-waste diverted from landfill. So not even just diverted, not, not upcycled or not, or not recycled, but actually returned to service for their originally intended use. There's a sense that they don't have a choice when it goes, when it breaks. There's no repair people left anymore to do this stuff. The clinics are free and held three to four times a month at libraries and community centers across the country. Peter Mui and his team of volunteer coaches train people like Abby Fox, whose kettle is out of commission. Under normal conditions, you go like this, it goes quick, but it also turns blue, and then it should boil water. She and I put on goggles to learn how to get it back up and running. And that's called the right-hand rule. Part okay. of getting the kettle back together is pulling it apart and testing electricity. You understand that anything we do here could make it worse. That warning aside, the process is time-consuming, and there's a chance nothing can be done. But the Fix-It team prides itself in resurrecting even the toughest electronics like Jeannie Fink's classic radio, which belonged to her father. His initials are actually still um, on the back of the, um, of the part that we took off. And um, he's since passed away, but had been sitting on a shelf in my home for the longest time. The bell sounds and the music is playing again. It took about an hour for Jeannie and her fix-it coach to make it happen. So you think you can fix something um, in your house by yourself now? <laughs> I think I have more confidence to at least try to troubleshoot. Abby Fox's kettle was a different story. The repair took all day, but in the end, it was another fix-it clinic success story. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Tina Martin in Boston. And I could spend a couple of weeks there. I've got a lot of things at home that need fixing.